Hello and welcome to Chess Please. My name is Andy and today I wanted to show you one of the most savage, beastly and disrespectful checkmating attacks I've ever seen on a chessboard. It was cooked up by Stockfish, the chess computer, uh, who if you're unaware is plays at a much stronger level than any Grandmaster alive and has done for years. Chess computers come with kind of some sweet and sour. On the sweet side, you have access to this wonderful chess brain that will analyze your games for you. On the sour side, it takes some of the romance out of the game with just brute force, calculation, cold, you know, unfeeling logic. And it can actually send you down the garden path a little if you don't understand what the computer analysis is telling you. It can help actually hinder your understanding of the game. That said, it is capable of some absolute madness. So this is from a rapid game that I played recently now we won't focus too much on the human, pedestrian, mortal side of things because we're playing on a whole different level here. Although I will say myself, I really enjoyed this game. It was a Vienna game. I sacked an exchange early on, got the exchange back and launched a pretty nice kingside attack with my queen, my bishop and my rook. That's all fine and we won the game. Hooray! Uh, but we're actually here to see what Stockfish uh, just eviscerates an opponent. If this rates the wrong word, strangles, I think, is going to be closer. Uh, so just shifting around pieces. This was my attack, which was as soon as my knight was allowed to come in here, it's threatening to jump in here for a royal fork. Like, this is the level of thinking that I'm doing. This is not what Stockfish is thinking. Uh, but I'm thinking, hey, let's get for a royal fork or at least, like, uh, tempt this pawn up. And once this pawn jumps up, our queen can slide on into the seventh rank land a check on the king king drops back that's great we land another check on the king uh, from range so that the king has to jump in here the royal fork is threatened again but this time we actually just win the exchange back and from here we're able to activate our pieces faster than our opponent uh, we get a rook on the open file uh, they try to launch some counter-attacking stuff but if you look at their pieces like the rook and the bishop both crap the queen is trying to do it all herself and stop uh, pressures coming in um, which we're kind of our pieces are working together a lot more harmoniously at this stage this is just again normal human stuff but I wanted to pause here because here is actually the first time that when I was running the computer analysis after the game I saw that it said mate in 14 from this position and I think crucially the queen is not leveling a check and it's not defending that c4 square. It's not defending the bishop uh, jumping in there anymore. So that is, that's the mistake. So again, it's this move here, uh, queen from d1 to e1. I guess maybe just trying to get at the king or take up this pawn or something like that. But at this stage we see it's mate in 14. And thankfully the real game follows the first few steps of that mate. Uh, so we won't have to depart just yet from what I played. So again, we pile the pressure on bishop uh, on bishop. If the bishop ever moves, we made here. Easy stuff. That doesn't happen. Opponent finds a nice resilient uh, queen back to e8. So here we've got one, two, three defenders on the bishop. We've got one, two, three attackers. So that'll all shake down as a, a total trade-off, pretty much, if we end up... Um, you know forcing that attack so computers at this stage is still a uh, mate in 13 at this stage and i'm not really seeing a breakthrough here so i do the only thing that i i can think to do uh seeing that this bishop is kind of relatively pinned um, or s certainly won't be able to defend this g-pawn we pick up the g-pawn simple as no great you know fuss not most here uh, that's all happy days king's next move is forced which is in here and at this stage queen taking here free pawn comes with check shuffles the king around all very lovely stuff and at this stage this is where the computer plays the madness so my opponent actually resigned at this point uh we picked up a win <laughs> but i looking at the analysis i was like how do you actually checkmate from here there's a couple of ways you can do it with like uh you know mating a lot of moves which is great and it's basically just like kind of shuffling between the king the queen between like these kind of squares and actually get finding time to push uh 
push this pawn up while this bishop is busy defending itself. That takes a few moves and the computer is nothing if not efficient. And it plays an absolutely disgusting move. See if you can guess what the computer plays here to find mate in 11. Uh, it's the fastest way through mate. Uh, fastest way to get mate. Mate in 11. Uh, a, a ludicrous move. A, 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 an insane move to play. Um, so yeah, if you haven't found it by now, you may never ever find it. The move is F4. F4. It's got nothing to do with anything. It's a dreadful move, said me. The computer says this is the fastest way to get checkmate. And at this point, if you trust the computer, and you largely should in many cases, you start to see why it might suggest something like this. And the, the wheels start to turn. If you haven't spotted or like maybe understand what's happening just yet, see what it has for uh, Black's response. So Black's response in this case is A6. And then when I was looking at this, the penny dropped. And I realized that Black's pieces cannot move. They are completely immobilized by the threats. They're, you know, the bishop moves away. We talked about that one. Uh, the rook physically cannot move, nor can the king. King is trapped. And if the queen ever moves, uh, it'll either have to leave the defense of this bishop, uh, which will lead to like bang, bang, checkmating stuff, um, or it will have to put itself in the line of fire of this rook and will trade off there. So the queen can't move. So there aren't any good moves. And this is the, the nastiness of Stockfish. Calculates all this and it sees you can't move, mate. Any move you do is going to be a bad move. It's going to put you in Zugzwang. But it calculates this at a whole different level. And it plays this this move F4. And it follows it up as well with uh, A4. We're getting us to the Zugzwang moment as soon as possible. Again, pieces can't move. So A5 is the only like viable move for black. And now they are fully out of good moves. So we just wait one more turn. And the way it says to do that is B3. The biggest Ned Flanders move of all time. Just chilling. Just absolutely chilling. And now Black has to do something that hurts its position. It is in Zugzwang completely. And it can do anything. It's probably going to be a queen move. I think that is the way that it lasts longest. Uh, so let's say something like C8 here. But now that this uh, bishop is undefended, we can take that with check. Rook has to take back. And now a nice bit of like technique here just to like not blunder this and king takes and you don't win anymore. Uh, you just put in a check in here first. King drops out here. And then very crucially you drop back here to h5. Funny looking move but it pops the king back onto g7 and now you are staring directly at that rook. So you take king h8 and whatever mate you like. Let's get right up in the king's grill. Stare him right in the eyes after that complete abomination of an attack that is unholy it's just sat right down on black's position and waited till it ran out of breath if you've ever seen billy madison it did what the revolting blob used to do and just sit on guys heads until they died that's what stockfish did an absolutely beautiful scummy attack of just waiting for you to run out of moves and just slowly sauntering into your position after you've had to hurt yourself. This F4 move I will remember for a long time. Just, just nasty stuff. This point. Boom. Uh, yeah, mate in 14 calculated by Stockfish and admired by me. And I hope you enjoyed it too. All the very best.